this will be a quick and easy tutorial on how to make an infrasonic signal source out of quick and easy items you can find lying around. If you've ever wanted to work with infrasonics but wondered how you would get a signal to be able to hear, well here's a simple and easy way to do it. First you need a 50cc irrigation syringe. These are available to medical places and probably have an uncle that uses them or something. They're not hard to come by. This is what it looks like. So you take that syringe and you cut the end off of it. And then for a transducing element, this is the pneumatic housing. For a transducer element, this is the microphone element, a dynamic microphone element out of an inexpensive Radio Shack hand mic. It's one of those mics with a little ball on top. You can get these in a number of places. These are have a little clear plastic dome that moves up and down. It's a dynamic microphone element. So you take the dynamic microphone element, solder wires to it of course, and then you you can tape it in or glue it in. Use a silicon sealer is good if you want. You seal the dynamic microphone element into the tube with the moving part facing the bottom of the tube. I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back here. So now I've taped the dynamic element onto the end of the tube and it looks like this. I included some of the wires in the tape so it would be a strain relief for the wiring. Okay, then now I attach a little piece of aquarium pump tubing to the end of it. And that's a completed ultrasonic, infrasonic, not ultrasonic, infrasonic sound source. You can plug that up to any signal generator, audio signal generator capable of going down to infrasonics. This is a WaveTech model 143. It goes from 0.00001 hertz up to 20 megacycles. And right now it's set to uh, 7.8 cycles. And uh, we'll see if we can hear it on, a, on the headset here. Okay. That's it's how to make a quick and easy infra, infra sound source.